I've got the power. This is our review of Power Play. Power Plants is a tile placement era majority game about growing a magical garden. And this game gave me kind of a plants versus zombies kind of vibe. The variety of plant powers and the possibilities of actions make this a fun yet tricky puzzler. And we'll tell you all about it after this quick how to play. The game is played in turn until all the plant tiles called patches have been drawn from the bag. On each player's turn, they will add a patch to the central garden following the tile placement rules. Then the player will choose to use the sprout power of the patch they just played or the grow power of the patches touching it. Sprout powers are stronger, but they're limited to the tile that was just played. Grow powers aren't as strong, but since the player will use the grow powers of the adjacent patches, that can lead to some strong chains. After using the powers, the player will draw a patch from the bag and end their turn. Once the last patch is drawn, each player takes one more turn and the game ends. Players add up their points based on the areas they control in the garden, along with the gems they collected while playing. The player with the most points wins. Before you go off growing your magical plants, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. All your likes and subscribes really help our channel grow, so thank you. We came across this game on Kickstarter, but we didn't initially back it. But then when we saw it laid out at Origins, it looked really interesting. I love the vibrant colors, and I really liked how the tiles were kind of a weird design rather than just being a regular hex, and they still fit together nicely. So I really thought everything about it looked fun. So we backed the late pledge with this one. I'm glad that we got it because it ended up being a lot of fun as a tile placement game. The vibrant colors, the unique pieces, and just it being about plants and each plant having its own unique power, I thought was just really cool and, you know, I really wanted to play it because I was like, oh, okay, you know, you do this, you do that, here's powers. So you, you got to learn about all the different things that they can do and then you can even choose because there's different sides to each plant and, you know, whether you sprout or grow. So a lot of different trees and branches you can make. No pun intended. <laughs> So it's a tile placement game and it's area majority. So everyone's placing their tiles in the same central garden and then you're gonna create fields of the different colors of the plants in that garden. And then you can have multiple fields too. And then based on the size of the field at the end of the game, whoever controls that field will get the most points and second place will get second most points and then everybody else will get one point. And I like how it's cooperative in that nature where everyone's building the central garden, but at the same time, it's still, you're going against each other, it's head to head. So you're trying to take control so even though someone else is playing a color that may increase that field size, which makes the points more valuable, if you then swoop in and take control of that field, you get the points. So everyone's working together, but battling. So I, I like that dynamic of the power shifting going from, yeah, we're helping each other build this garden, but I'm going to control it. Ha ha ha. So it's very important to know like, okay, what plants are we playing with? What powers do they have? Because at the end or throughout the whole game, you've got two tiles and everyone can see what tiles you have. So if you're saving one to the very end, the other people can kind of see it and say, okay, I know what that power does because we have a handy dandy reference sheet of all the different powers that can be played. So you're just like, okay, I know that that's that. He may be waiting. So, you know, what kind of big move can he be doing? And then how can I disrupt that big move and make this my garden? Each of the plant tiles have their own sprout ability and their own grow ability. So the sprout ability is when you take your tile and you place it into the garden, you can use the ability of that patch that you just played, which will do something. And that's usually a stronger ability that gets you either more points or adding more sprites to the garden to then take control of things. Or you can use the grow ability of the patches that are touching that patch. So you could end up with a max of three different tiles that could then give you a grow power. Even though they're not as strong, because you have three of them, they could chain together and end up being really strong. Like I know that there are a couple of plants that if you chain them correctly, you end up getting like 10 gems or something based on the sprouts. You can do a whole lot with it. So there are a lot of ways that you can really chain the grow powers and make them work to your advantage to the point where you're almost, oh, I don't want to go there because then Lee can go after me and then he can chain it and he can get all those gems. So you really got to think about, all right, if I go here, what grow powers will they get if they go there after me? Or do I want the strength of that sprout power and place it here or just take that strong ability now? It's a lot of thinking while you're placing a tile. So there's one rule that I thought was really interesting about the area majority. It's not about the number of sprites you have total in like a field. It's about how many patches you control in the field. So Kenny can have like 20 sprites on one patch and I only have five one on each patch of that field. However, I'll win the most points because I control most of the patches. 
So with this game, each plant tile has its own sprout ability and its own grow ability. Not only that, they also have a secondary one. So if you want to play with the advanced rules, then they have a different sprout ability and a different grow ability. So there are a lot of powers in this game, which is why they give you the handy dandy reference card so that you can remember. But there is a lot of thinking as far as, all right, I have this tile. Wait, what's the sprout ability again? So it does lend itself to a lot of analysis paralysis just because as you're building the tile, you have all these different patches touching each other. You're like, okay, if I go here, it's these two abilities. What are those two? Okay, oh, if I go here, it's these two. What are those two? If I go here, it's these three. What? Oh, the box says 30 minutes, but I feel like the more you know this game, the longer it'll even take because then you can do more permutations in your head as far as, ooh, where should I go? What should I do? It's almost like when you don't know all the abilities, you're just placing a tile anywhere. You're like, oh, let's see what happens. But when you know everything, it's like, okay, I have to think this through. This might take a while. So when I first saw the game and when we first started playing it, I got kind of a plants versus zombies kind of vibe just because in plants versus zombies, you have some plants that like produce, some plants that attack or kill things. You got some plants that just do something unique. And then as we play this game and I I saw the powers, I just followed that motif for theming. I was like, oh, there's that, there's that, there's that. And then everyone else was kind of like the zombies or their sprites were the zombies that I was just trying to like stop. Overall, high marks and points for the production value. The vibrant colors, the unique pieces, caters to me a little bit more because I love the unique powers and just trying to figure out how to chain them and everything. So I'm gonna give this game a seven. Overall, I really like a lot about this game. It's a fun tile placement. I like how vibrant the colors are. I like how interesting the different powers are with the different plants. I like the option of the sprout or grow. I think that's an interesting mechanic when you're placing down the tile. I do think the enjoyment factor hinges on which plants you're using in which game. So that could weigh on whether you enjoy it or not the first time that you play. If you get the right combination, this could be like an eight or a nine game. If you get the wrong combination, this could be like a three or a four game. So I'm also gonna give it a seven because statistically odds are you'll have fun more times and you won't have fun so it's about a seven and that was our review of power plants what'd you think can you take it or leaf it let us know in the comments below and if you're enjoying our content please like this video subscribe to our channel until next time i'm lee and i'm kenny i go party like a board gamer